welcome to Croatia, baby. We uh, just arrived. It was quite delayed with our flight and everything, but we are at our apartment. The lovely lady who we rented Airbnb from come and collected us, which was nice. So we're actually just walking to the supermarket. It's so so warm to get some snacky bits. Might do a little food haul. Show you what we're getting. I just want some watermelon. What am I loud? Supermarket. I didn't show you what we got, but we basically got chips and dips, some fruit, some nice drinks, um, some croissants for breakfast in the morning, ass and bought bread for toast, and forgot to bring, buy anything to put on this bread, so you won't be having toast anytime soon. Um, but yeah, oh my goodness, the absolute stunning scenes. This is like Savtat, the like main little bit that we're staying in, and we've got dinner reservations here. It does look a bit nicer when it's all sunny, but you can appreciate it. Um, I'll have to like insert some clips. Well, actually, I'm sure I'll show them the sunset another day, but it was yeah. beautiful. Um, yeah, we've kind of just been chilling out. We were at a pool for a while, weren't we? Finished my book, day one. So, luckily, Aston bought me two more at the airport. You've got about four to read now. Four, but I do like to read. And I like that sitting in the sun. Look at that pussycat. It's so beautiful. Please don't get hit by a car. But um, yeah, we're going to have some dinner. I'll show you what we get. Hi. I'm sorry, quickly, relax my hair. New pony, courtesy of Les. Because it's melting, but I'm not. But yeah, we're gonna have a little mix around and then probably head back because I'm functioning on three hours sleep and I'm super sleepy. Cheers. Cheers. We are walking up the biggest hill ever. Hang on a minute, I'll show you. If you can see that there in the distance <laughs> is where we've walked from. We thought we'd walk our dinner off. And oh my goodness, <laughs> we'll not be doing this again. Hello, hello. We have got our swing stuff on. I've got my hat on to protect me from sunstroke. Hashtag stay safe with the sun kids. Um, and we are walking on a bit of a track. We're going to a beach bar place, um, which will be really lovely. But it's a half an hour walk and I thought, oh, that'll be nice. But I've set out and I'm not moaning, but it's very warm and <clears throat> it's very, very hilly. And it's about 35 degrees. So wish us luck. Guys, this is the hill we walked up yesterday, very late at night. And I feel like it wasn't as bad when it was nighttime because it was like cooler and there was a bit of a breeze right now and peak sunshine. At least we're walking downhill, that's all I'm gonna say, hey? But we literally got to walk down right to the bottom. But yeah, it's a great day in Croatia. So we're staying up there somewhere, I believe. Up there? Oh gosh, no, I'm lying. We're staying over there somewhere, looking out at the coast that way. But look, at this is the little bay. There's a big super yacht here. Wow. Just come to pick me up, guys. There's a little beach bar here, which we're going to go and explore, have some lunch. It's gorgeous. The water is so clear. Although I did just see some jellyfish, so I'm a bit apprehensive about going in now. Little 
beach bar. Let me tap so you can see. Sat at a lovely little beach bar, got some food. We're gonna eat um, and then we're gonna go for a wander and then probably go dip in the sea. I'll show you what we've got to eat. I got prosciutto, Ast got risotto. Right there. Take a first bite, taste test. Mm. Good. At 10. 10. No way. Okay. That is so, so good. Every food that we've had here so far, I mean, it's only day two, has been crazy good, huh? Mm. I've got a mojito, absolutely lovely. And oh, just divine, just divine. Happy days in creation. lunch we're looking at the harbour watching boats come and go it is absolutely what's the word gorgeous gorgeous bloody lovely no it is divine yeah i'm thinking of like a peaceful word it's tranquil that's what i want to say it is tranquil Thank you very much. It's my birthday, it's the 20th of August. 24 years ago, the Queen was born. So I'm celebrating in Croatia with my best friend. We're going on a boat trip to see some islands, watch some dolphins. Yeah, it's gonna be the best day ever. Um, we're here, we're on this boat from 10 till six. It's a very long day. We've got this little private area at the moment. I really hope no one comes and sits here so that I can, we can feel like it's a private boat. <laughs> I was joking, I won't do that. Sure, no. Don't do that, no. But yeah, um, I'll bring you along with us on our ride and hopefully it'll be cute. Three islands included and we're gonna stop at Dubrovnik, so that'll be lovely, because I haven't told you yet, but we're actually staying in Savtat, which is south of Dubrovnik, only by like 20 minutes. But it's just where like all the rich people come because it's very quiet, it's not very popular, but it's got like Michelin star restaurants, loads of big super yachts come here. Um, yeah, we'll show you guys at some point. Um, but it's really, really nice. It's actually very expensive. We thought it'd be quite cheap. I don't know why. I thought it'd be cheap. Did you? I didn't think much of it. I just, for some reason, thought when I, whenever I go anywhere, it's only like, oh, it'll be an expensive flight. It'll be an expensive Airbnb or hotel. But like, once you get there, it'll be cheap. But no, it's been really, it's been like London prices. Everyone like ten euros, ten pounds a cocktail. It's quite cheap. No, it's not. When we had dinner, it was like fourteen pounds. No, you can go to like off the back roads, they do like a little pizzeria place. But in terms of like, if you go to like the restaurants, the harbour and the bay, you're looking at paying like 60 quid. I feel that was quite expensive. With dream. Yeah, I, th I, think, I think, I think.
this island stop. This is, uh, I'm gonna butcher the name, but I think it's Kolosep. Kolosep? And it's a native fishing island. We have half an hour here, so I don't think it's that big, but we're gonna go have a little explore. Currently climbing a lot of steps. And it's very warm, so out of breath. Very unfit at the moment, but it's beautiful. Oh, there's our little boat. Island on our three island hopping day, and um, this one is called Sipan. I think I've Chipan. I'm, I'm not sure what it is, I'm probably not pronouncing it accurately, but it's gorgeous. So, on this island, everybody that lives here they make their own food, their own wine, everything, they don't really import anything at all, and um, they all live like a traditional way of life. They make their own clothes. It's so cool. I'd love just to do a year here, shut off. Leave my phone somewhere else. You would, you'd hate that, wouldn't you? You're on your phone more than me. an ice cream because to get to the beach that we want to go to the sandy one it's a 25 minute steep incline uphill walk which I don't think I'm prepared for Evas are taking too long and I'm just we said we'll do it but I can see myself giving up very quickly in this heat but I thought this ice cream might make me feel better we've gone for the um, double chocolate flavour but it's not what I'd normally go for we've had the weirdest flavours of it, it was like this Forest berries, which some people are, I definitely Banana don't. Split. Banana split. And I just thought, you know what, I'll just stick with chocolate actually. Thank you. But yeah, stay tuned to see if we make it to the sunny beach. <laughs> Update, we've got to climb over there to get to the beach. This is hard work. Just a little an update. Up the hill we got to climb. How you doing, KB? Smashing. The only thing that's keeping me going is the fact that I can, doesn't mean I can do it. I can, I do think you can you do don't. it. You don't. We've made it to the summit. Now we descend. Down there. We've made it. What felt like the hardest mission of my life we've got here. The beach bar music is in my ears. The sea, oh, unbelievable. Ah. Uh. Was it worth it? Yeah, it was, what was easy? You're ridiculous. It's actually easy. You're a liar. I'm Where are we at? Labahim. Labahim for my birthday dinner. 
got the nice view of the yacht. It's got a lovely view in front of me. Us has got an espresso martini. I've got a mojito. So we got ready really, really quickly because our boat trip was really late back. We were supposed to get back for like 6 slash 6.15. We got back at like 10 to 7. So we had a dinner reservation for 8.15. So we rushed back, got ready. We actually missed the sunset tonight because it was really cloudy, so that's a shame. But um, we've come here, it's a really lovely restaurant. It was actually really recommended as like the top second best in the whole town. So hopefully it's amazing. We've got the top best for Aston's birthday in a few days. So lucky him. But I've gone and I've ordered the creamy truffle pasta and Aston has ordered, what have you ordered? Sea bass fillet. The sea bass fillet. Um, yeah, so I hope they're going to be delicious. I think they are. It's a very lovely restaurant. They even like when I arrived, they all have a little little stall next to me with my bag on it, which feels very posh. But yeah, um, looking forward to the food, and I've had the most amazing birthday. I've kind of like set my sights on Ashley's birthday now because I've planned oh, some, boy. some fun things. So I've had the most best day. I've had lovely messages from people and some great gifts. Um, yeah, I'm ready for some good food and some good drinks and then on to Aston's birthday but tomorrow I think we're probably just going to have a very chill day because it's been quite busy a lot on our feet walking doing stuff a lot of pool, a pool day we just want a pool day I just want to read my book I'm so into my book anyone that is into reading at the moment Lisa Jewell the night she disappeared read it I'm so hooked but yeah I'm going to leave you guys to it while we eat our meal Oh my god, that looks bad. Got my birthday churros. Cheers. We are at a little beachy bar. We've got a cute view of the beach basically in harbour here. I've gone for a strawberry daiquiri. I've gone for a frozen mai tai. They are delicious. I'm actually yet to tell anyone it's my birthday because I think I should get a free drink, but I don't know why I'm feeling really anxious about it. But Maybe we we'll just slip in at the end, at the end get some well, free yeah, shots. Well, it's my birthday. Mm. I feel like you should always get something free on your birthday. I normally do. It's a normal tradition. But, um, yeah, we had some lovely, lovely food. Although the portions were very small. So after we... But, yeah, thank you for watching this part because you're clearly loyal followers and subscribers. Love you guys. Also, comment what you think the best cocktail is. Off for lunch. We've been at the pool all morning. The sun's finally come out. I'm probably gonna go for some risotto. Not sure what us is gonna get, but it's very warm. I've been reading my book, absolutely obsessed with it. Just thrown on this little knitted dress that I wore to Pride not long ago. <laughs> Unfortunately, Chelsea's playing, so we have to watch the football, but he's promised to buy me some yummy cocktails, so I'm not too upset about oh, it. The sky's so pretty as well. It's Aston's birthday today, 25. 
<sighs> we've just walked down into town down the big hills it's very warm we're gonna grab some brunch at the restaurant we had feed at the first or second day when i had the bruschetta and i had the creamy seconds. risotto because we really liked it then there was a lot we wanted to try on the menu um then after we're gonna get some massages that's a good start to being 25 hey quarter of a century yeah good start starting with the massage Aston's gonna go for a soft one like a nice gentle massage i'm gonna go for a firm like a get all my knots out but yeah it should be should be nice look at the blue sky the sea gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> bloody gorgeous what are we doing later <gasps> oh and i've put the surprise for Aston, but you don't know anything about it so we're gonna keep it that way guys little surprise keep it that way So we've just arrived at Aston Surprise. I'm not sure he knows what it is. He's all sorts of ideas have gone through his head, but I think as we've pulled up, he's kind of had a inkling of what it could be. What do you think it is? Horse riding. Oh, he thinks it's horse riding. Who knows? <laughs> but um, no, we had our massages earlier. They were so, so good. So needed. We decided when we're rich, we're gonna have one once a month when we're even richer once a week and then when we're lady girl once a week? Rich, we're gonna have one once a day you're optimistic <laughs> very optimistic but yes so we're here now we're at our Aston surprise i'll keep you posted throughout and uh, we're gonna have the best time ever hey say again gonna have the best time ever yeah <laughs> feels a bit nervous a little bit shaky <laughs> found a new hobby guys mountain horseback riding my legs are rubbing on the saddle it's boiling hot the flies are attacking me i'm definitely being bitten by mozzies but having the best time ever. Why are we here? All the yachts come here, Mission Star, you know. You do it. It's my birthday, so we thought, treat ourselves. Yeah. Um, Why is Kirsty not talking on the camera tonight? We went horse riding and she's allergic to every single animal on the planet Earth and now her eye is non existent. Yeah, my eyes could be swollen and I'm sat in a bitch in the restaurant telling that I don't care, but really it's eating me up inside and I just want to die. But yeah, that's our night. I'm probably going to log off for now and just enjoy the rest of my night because it's our last night here. But... So on top of me having a huge allergic reaction to the horses and my eyes and throat swelling, I also managed to contract Lyme disease, I'll insert a picture, while I was horse riding too. So that's always a brilliant... So guys, after a very, very chaotic night last night, I had a massive allergic reaction. My whole face and tongue and throat closed and swelled and my eyes still a bit swollen. We'll get, it looks a lot better now though. Um, we're actually in the airport ready to go home. Our flight is already delayed a ridiculous amount. But yeah, we've had the best holiday ever. We're going home now. Yeah, and then we've got our party on Saturday that we're looking forward to. So what was your best moment in Croatia? Um, I think the beach, that beach on your birthday. Well, the sandy beach. Sandy the swing. beach. Yeah, the swing. Nice. I enjoyed that. And the journey there up the hill. And, the, and, the, and you moaning up the hill. My I said to him, time. most of my friends, back me up here, girls, would not have climbed that fucking hill when there's a taxi at the bottom. Yeah, well. And I, every every taxi went, no, you don't want to walk it. There's no way you're walking. And Aston's like, walking away. He's like, what? <laughs> My favourite part was, there's quite a few. I love the boat trip. 
I also love the horses, although I'm severely allergic. I might be doing that again. I really loved I really the horse it. ride, yeah, going fun. into the river. It was really nice, although my bum is severely bruised. It's like when I, the only way I can describe it is like when I've been on the bike at the gym, my bum goes numb, but like, imagine that three hours, that's what we had, and my bum's numb. That's got a bruise on his bum. Oh, <laughs> Mine's, I think, is like bruised internally, because it's so painful, but there's like no mark. So I think, I think there is props of bruise there, but I'm so sleepy. I'm gonna <laughs> read sleepsies. sleepsies. I'm gonna read my book, and we've downloaded some Netflix for the flight. What are we watching? We'll tell them. Oh, so we were watching Lincoln Lawyer and we finished it all. Um, but we're now, obviously, every night we have dinner, we were looking at the massive super yachts. We've now started watching Below Deck and I think we're actually so hooked, aren't we? Captain yeah. Sandy's got us by the balls, mate. But, um, Why yeah. Why did you tell, sound like a bloke just then? <laughs> yeah, I did I say what my favourite part was? It was either the beach or the horse ride. <laughs> The yes, food. you have. They've heard it. <laughs> Leave them alone. Okay, bye guys. Go ahead, kiss. <laughs> bye. <laughs>